you guys should have known by now that this shoe was gonna end up being in my sneaker collection. Well, actually, it's not technically going to be in my sneaker collection for long, but I really, really wanted to get this shoe for a video because I wanna answer a question that every sneakerhead is wondering. What's really inside the Yeezy Knit Runner? A huge shout out to Seth Fowler because he actually sold me his pair. He mentioned that he was selling them in the video, so I texted him and I was like, yo, do you still have those? And luckily he had them, he gave me a really good price, so shout out to Seth and shout out for the socks that he sent me in my package. This is his company, Apothecary, and they make really good socks. So Seth, thank you for the socks. Thank you for the hookup on the Knit Runners. If you wanna see an actual professional review on this shoe, go to his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link down below, but that's not what we're doing today. We're not doing a professional review. I'll give you my opinion and thoughts on the shoe. But we're gonna be doing a science, Hold on. A sneaker science experiment to find out what's really inside the Yeezy Knit Runner. Now, before we get into that unboxing, as you can see, we have three very beautiful shoes right in front of me. And guess what? I'm giving all three of these shoes away to you guys right now. Not in this video. You actually have to go to my new Sneakerheads Be Like that we just uploaded yesterday on the Kai Somar channel because that is where I'm doing the giveaway. So if you haven't went and watched it, please go watch it. I'll leave the link for it down below. Go subscribe to the Kai Somar channel because we're going to start uploading on there occasionally. I usually don't upload on there, maybe like once or twice a year, but I'm really going to start pushing that channel because I really want to get it to a million subscribers. We're doing the giveaway and I'm giving all three pairs of these shoes away for free, but you have to go watch Sneakerheads Be Like. All right, let's put these over here. We're good. All right, so the Yeezy Knit Runner. This is the very first time that Yeezy and Adidas have released this shoe. You know, we've had some very controversial Yeezys in the past, and it seems like every time that there's one that people hate, it ends up being loved eventually by the whole community. Do I think that's gonna happen with this shoe? I don't think so. And the reason for that is because it's, this shoe is just, it looks like Donald Duck's foot. I don't know, it's just, it's weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Roll the intro. What's in the box? I literally have never seen these in person, so I'm really excited. And, uh, <laughs> What else is in here? Okay, we got the goat stuff. So Seth got it from goat. So I know he didn't sell me a fake. Thank you, Seth. Thank you for not scamming me. We don't need the box. But yeah, here they are, guys. These are the Yeezy Knit Runners, the very first colorway. I like yellow sneakers. Don't get me wrong. I have the off-white Air Force Ones that just came out. Lightning 4s, super dope. But this feels like a bag was painted. That really is what it feels like. It's like they took this knit and just painted on it and it just dried up and got hard. But yo, everybody really wants to see like what's really in this shoe. Is there a foam runner in here? Like, I don't think there's boost in here. Look, I spent a couple hundred dollars on these, but it's all for the greater good. It's all for science. Okay, so I have them on feet right now, and honestly, front of the shoe just goes up. It reminds me of like an animal's beak or something. I don't feel comfortable wearing these, but I'm not gonna sit here and say I'll never wear this shoe in a different colorway at least, but this yellow one, yeah, I can't pull these off. Uh, yo, shout out to the Yeezy team, always taking risks and making like futuristic or possibly an old school looking shoe that just nobody's ever seen before. All right, so let's take these off now. Almost time to cut these open. So we're gonna put a brand new blade on my box cutter to do this experiment. I think a lot of people are going to be interested to see what's inside. Safety first though. Goggles are essential. This is definitely unnecessary. All right, you know what? I really don't need these. But now ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment you have been waiting for. It is time to cut open the Yeezy Knit Runner and see what's really inside. I just wanna go right down the middle. That's exactly what I'm thinking is to go right down the middle. All right, I think I'm just gonna start right there at the tip. Oh my God, that was way too easy. Oh my God, that was just way too easy. Oh my God, literally, that was just way too easy. Look, we have some, that's the foam right there. There's like a foam toe or something. Look at that, whoa, that's crazy. All right, we gotta keep keep cutting. I don't wanna make like too many cuts here. I want a side angle here. Oh man, that cut's so easy. The shoe is literally cut in half already. Okay, so. There we go, yo. That's what's inside is a uh, little foam padding right at the toe as we expected, literally. 
I could pretty much stick my whole hand in there. And it looks like this is attached. Is it attached under? Damn, this is a science, sneaker science experiment. Kind of looks like a shoe tree in here. I'm trying to see that. It's literally like a shoe within a shoe. So this is attached and it's glued on to the actual insole of the shoe. Or I guess even, I guess you could call it a midsole if you really want. Literally just a knit covering a top of a foam. So, and this thing is what presses onto your foot. And if you could see, there's like ridges right here. And I guess that's for flexibility. I'm thinking we just cut this whole thing in half because I want to see what's actually in this area right here. That's the goal is to go through the whole thing. So let's do the back real quick. The back's a little harder. Okay, there we go. There we go. The back has the same foam on there from what I see so far. If this isn't oddly satisfying, then I don't know what is right there on the back. Look at the butt crack right there. That's the butt crack of the knit runner. This is honestly one of the funnest things I've done on this channel, man. I think I need to do this more often. Shout out to all the Instagram accounts that's going to steal this footage and re-upload it. All right, we're cutting through the Adidas logo. Also, Adidas, please don't hate me for doing doing this to your shoe. This is strictly for science purposes. But look at that, man. We have that same foam on the insole, so there's no boost. Oh, that was that was that was oddly satisfying. We gotta get a better angle on that one. There it is. That's the inside. things I've done on this channel. I got to cut open a shoe and see what was really on the inside. And honestly, I think this was the perfect shoe to do it to because nobody knew. So the first thing I thought of when I saw this was like, this reminds me of the little stencils that come with like Play-Doh. Like you literally just put the Play-Doh inside and then take the Play-Doh out and you have the shape of like food. Or in this case, you would have the shape of a shoe. Essentially, it's just knit over some foam material. Now, I don't know exactly what this is. This could be something that Adidas has on other shoes. I don't know their exact technology, but I'm assuming this isn't just some random foam that they just pulled out of nowhere. This has to be something that they use on other sneakers. You see right here, you could see where they actually connected this top layer to the bottom layer, it connects right there. So it's not actually one full piece, but it's kind of interesting that they would put whatever was on the midsole on the top area. Could th that does remind me of the foam runner, but it's definitely not the foam runner because the foam runner is 10 times more comfortable. This is, yeah, this is definitely not. And we definitely know it's not Boost. I think we knew that before we even cut the shoe open or else it would have said Boost Knit Runner on the box maybe, because if it has Boost, that means the price is gonna be way higher retail wise. But yeah, there's no Boost in this shoe. Pretty much it, man. They literally just took this potato sack knit upper, put it over some foam, and made the Yeezy Knit Runner. Well, this is gonna make a good display piece here in the studio. So honestly, I'm not too mad about this. Like, if, if this video flops and it doesn't even get views and, you know, we don't recuperate our money back from what we spent on here, I'll still be happy because at the end of the day, we could still put this on display and uh, it'll be a little talking piece for the office, you know, a little vibe. But yeah, let me know if you guys are actually interested in buying a pair of these. Like, I really want to see how many people actually are interested in putting this on their feet. Kind of had a lot of, I wouldn't even say mixed feelings. I would say it's really one-sided. A lot of people don't like this shoe, but I know the diehard hard Kanye fans who literally buy every Yeezy, they're definitely gonna be adding these to their collections. And uh, now you know what's really inside. A huge shout out to Seth again for hooking these up for a great price. Sneakheads be like part 10 is live. Go watch it, link down below. And I'm gonna be releasing a blooper video, probably my next upload here on Crew TV. I didn't even sock it's verification. Even though I got them from Raffle, so really? crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and I almost forgot about this weekend. So this weekend guys, I'm actually going to be going to New York for the first time in like two years. We're gonna be at New York Got Soul Sneaker Convention. I'm super excited to pull up because there's gonna be a lot of homies there. Like Soul Riso is gonna be there. The Common Hype guys are gonna be there. Pony D2 Wild might be pulling up. I don't know, it's not confirmed yet. It's a rumor I heard. New York Got Soul, I'll be in the building. I'm gonna be doing a panel. I'm gonna be hanging out with you guys. Chill vibes all around. I'm not gonna have like a dedicated booth. I'll be just getting 
content, walking around, chilling, maybe buy some shoes. I don't know. Pre-sale tickets are available now. If you guys want to get your tickets, I'll leave the link down below. I know I said I left the link for like a million things down below this video, but, but anyway, New York, I'll see you guys this weekend, Saturday, October 16th, 12 to 6. Pull up. It's going to be a movie. I'm really, really excited because sneakerheads in New York City, this is such a good culture over there. It's such a passionate sneaker culture in New York City. So I'm excited to see what other people have, what people are wearing, and I'm excited to meet some of you guys. So see you at New York Got Soul this weekend. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video, man. We basically did the science experiment of the Yeezys. We told you guys about sneakerheads be like. Now I just need you guys to do two things. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and then you can just be on your way. I'll see you next time. Peace. Great day, sir. All black, Air Forces. Have a great day.